Hello, a few people have been asking me about this, so I thought I'd do a quick video taking you through the setup. So do you want to set up Slate Trigger 2 within Logic, but you want to use MIDI performances, MIDI tracks to play back the instruments? I'm gonna show you how to set it up because it's not as straightforward and obvious as it initially appears. Okay, here it goes. Okay, so here we are over in Logic. I've currently got a MIDI track loaded up with a MIDI performance, currently playing back a Logic drum kit. Sounds totally fine. Okay, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Slate Trigger to trigger a kick and a snare, which is likely something you're gonna wanna do, and we're gonna be using the MIDI performance to play it. Now, first thing you need to do is create a new instrument. We're gonna create a MIDI software instrument. Now, you can leave this empty for now, or you can do the selecting from here, but we're just gonna create it for now. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to instruments, and at this point where you'd use your either select a Logic instrument or you'd be finding an AU instrument, you'd actually go down to AU MIDI controlled effects. And this is where you'll find Stephen Slate Trigger 2, then you can choose mono or stereo. Once that's loaded up, I'm sure you know how to use Trigger 2. If you don't already, then go and see my other videos. And But just load up the samples or triggers that you want to use. I've chosen to use a sample instrument that I created myself called the Boss Man Snare, which I actually sell on my website and there's always a discount code below so you can go and check it out if you want to. Right, once you've got something loaded up, double check that they're playing back just by hitting one of the pads. Beautiful. Now we'll hide that for a moment. We're gonna bring down the MIDI performance that you wanna trigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy that from the original drum track because I'm using this to augment what's already there. Let's go back to trigger and go to settings. And then in here with the MIDI in, you wanna choose which note that you want it to be triggering. So in this case, I'm triggering a snare and all of my snares were on D1. Okay, so go and double check that and then pick whichever note it is. So I've done that now. And now if we play that back, I'm just gonna solo this instrument for now. I'm gonna play that back and you will hear trigger two playing back the snare hits in that MIDI performance. Perfect. So what I've also done is I've created another instrument and I've loaded up a kick sample. And then just to make sure I've gone into the settings and then that is playing back a C1 instead of a D1 because my kick was on a C1. And now if you listen to the two, that should be the kick and the snare. Let's play it back with the Logic drums and you'll hear that they're nicely augmenting each other. And that is it. If you've got any further questions about that, just let me know and I'll try and help you out in the comments below. By the way, if you liked that kick drum sample, you can get that for free when you sign up to my mailing list and the details will be coming next. Okay, thanks a lot, bye for now. Okay, thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video, please do me a favor, hit the old like and the thumbs up, it really helps the channel. Also, if you sign up to the mailing list, I will send you some free stuff, which will be an EQ cheat sheet and some one shots that you can use in your mixes and you can chuck them into Slate Trigger too. So why not? Bye for now. <laughs>